एवरी वन इन दिस वीडियो एंड द वीडियो इज टू बी फॉलोड वी शैल बी डिस्कसिंग सम ऑफ द फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्ड ओ एम एफ एस शॉर्ट नॉट क्वेश्चन इन यूनिवर्सिटी एग्जाम्स द फर्स्ट शॉर्ट नॉट क्वेश्चन इज विंटर्स लाइन्स विंटर्स लाइन्स आर थ्री इमेजिनरी लाइन्स वन ऑन द रेडियोग्राफ एंड स्पेसिफिकली इंफ्रा ओरल पेरी अपाइकल रेडियोग्राफ these lines determine the position and depth of an impacted third molar this method was first described by george winter so these lines are described as white amber and red lines the first line or the white line it is drawn along the occlusal surface of the erected mandibular molars and extended posteriorly over the third molar ridge so from this from this white line the axial inclination of position of impacted tooth can be assessed the white line also provides an indication regarding the depth at which the tooth is lying in the mandible when compared to the erected second molar so basically it indicates the difference in occlusal levels of the first second and third molars the second imaginary line or the amber line it is drawn from the surface of the bone lying distal to the third molar to the crest of the interdental septum between the first and the second molar the amber line indicates the margin of the alveolar bone enclosing the tooth hence when soft tissues are reflected only that portion of the tooth shown on the film to be lying above and in front of the amber line will be visible while the rest of the tooth will be enclosed within the alveolar so basically it represents the height of the bone level in which the third molar is encased the red line is an imaginary line drawn perpendicular from the amber line to an imaginary point of application of an elevator usually this point is the cemento enamel junction on the mesial aspect of the impacted tooth unless it is disto angular impacted tooth where the application point is the distal cemento enamel junction The red line indicates the amount of bone that will have to be removed before elevation of the tooth. That is the depth of the tooth in the jaw and the difficulty encountered in removing that particular tooth can be assessed using red line. With each increase in the length of the red line by 1 mm, the impacted tooth becomes 3 times more difficult to remove. This is opined by Ho. If the red line is less than 5 mm then the tooth can be removed under local anesthesia anything above 5 mm the tooth needs to be removed under general anesthesia or local anesthesia sedation would be more appropriate that's all for this video the rest of the questions will be continued in the subsequent videos thank you